The Era Rolde Institute, located in Paris, France, was designed by architect Jean Nouvel, an architecture studio. The frame of the building consists of reinforced concrete pillars that line the perimeter. Flat trusses connect the pillars along the exterior of the east facade. Curtain walls on the north and south facades are a distinctive feature of the building skin and are constructed from a glass and aluminum skeleton. The large amounts of windows and the building's open concept creates a transparency within the Arab World Institute that makes structural elements visible to onlookers. This can be noted especially through the building stairways. The building's climate control and kinetic facade mitigates the dependency of HVAC systems. It is able to avoid solar gain through its south facade that is comprised of around 30,000 photosensitive mechanical devices that open and close their apertures, regulating the amount of light that enters the building. The facade system is controlled electronically, but makes use of photovoltaic sensors, which allows the apertures to open and close accordingly. The University of Waterloo's Environment 3 building was designed by Walter Fady, Ockett Swanson, and Pierce Architects for use by the School of Planning and School of Environment. Environment 3 is hoisted above the pre-existing Environment 2 building. Beams and trusses are visible throughout the building interior that show evidence of this. Many areas of the exterior facades are encompassed in a glass curtain wall and are detailed with large panels of recycled steel. As Environment 3 is a high-performance green building, innovative ways of using HVAC systems have been implemented. A living plant-covered wall that extends two stories from the atrium is connected to the ventilation system to assist in the removal of unwanted compounds, circulating clean, fresh air for the building. Though the dependency on HVAC systems is highly reduced, electrical and mechanical systems are located on the 5th and 3rd floors. The large amounts of windows and skylights allows for ample use of daylight, while receptive sensors in the ceiling adjust the need for artificial light accordingly. Thirty years after the Arab World Institute's opening, the South Facade's mechanical system is no longer functioning. This counters its intention to reduce the building's dependency on HVAC systems, a concept that Environment 3 has down packed. However, the Arab World Institute's high level of transparency makes its structural systems far more apparent and creates interest.